guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm here at Land Rover Tampa because guess what? We have it. This is the one we've been waiting for. This is a 2021, the new Defender 90. But before we get into this two-door off-road SUV mean machine, let's talk about what's going on here. Land Rover, really a British iconic brand, was building vehicles that now fall in that SUV category before SUV was ever a thing. We take for granted all the technology that they brought to the forefront, but you know what? For 2021, they decided to bring back that Defender magic, especially here in the United States. We've already covered the 110, that longer wheelbase with four doors. When you go Defender 90, you're getting the shorter wheelbase and you're getting that two-door action. This being that first edition is really showcasing the classic color combination and a lot of the wonderful driving attributes that make a Land Rover so unique. But what I want to find out is now in the 21st century, now that the Defender is back, is this still the supreme king of luxury off-road SUVs? It did win Motor Trend SUV of the Year, so it would be interesting to see what this 90 brings to the table. So let's go ahead, let's get into this short stack of a Defender known as the Defender 90. Right off the bat, the proportions. Two doors really seem to kind of fit it nicely. They actually cut 17 inches out of the chassis to shorten it up, out of the frame to shorten it up from the 110. Now up front, you're still gonna get that classic, but also 21st century spin on that retro styling. I love the way they did the LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, and everything else just nicely set up. Some gloss black is looking fresh, sitting here brand new, but I love all the intricate detail of what's going on inside that headlight housing. As you drop down, full functionality. So you're gonna have these massive openings for the heat exchangers. We have fog lamps, and I really like the way they kind of drilled out all of these openings just to give it that nice rugged look, but also give it a unique look that definitely stands out from the other luxury SUVs. This thing, with its air suspension, you're looking at a little over eight inches in the lowest setting from the ground to the underbelly. But guess what? You put it up in that higher setting, you're looking at over 11 inches of ground clearance. I really love that nice flared fender, sexy design, how it just kind of extends out so clean. And then as we come across that grill, really, really strong, very bold. You have a nice bright metallic silver in the center, functionality up top, that Land Rover badge with that British green, such an iconic color to go for an iconic brand. And then as we kind of toggle down, you're gonna get this egg crate style grill that is fully functional. Forward facing camera is gonna be important when you go off-road. And I love the way they took the material and curved it underneath. Of course, you're gonna have that four by four action, two speed transfer case, some protective skid plates underneath to protect the inner bits, but very, very rugged from the front but with a nice clean look. I'm really, really digging these Defenders. Now, when you get up onto the hood, you do have the Defender badge. I am gonna zonk it. I wish that it would actually sink the letters into the hood a little bit more rather than just be the emblems extended off. But other than that, nice fold. You have this beautiful texture design that they have and a nice bulge. Everybody wants a bulge. You're gonna get a bulge on your Defender as it curves up and stays nice and high all the way towards the windshield. As we come around the bend, what are we working with? Wheel and tire setup. Super clean, super simple, and that's all you need. You got your five-star wheel here, really nice bright metallic silver. I know you're saying, Joe, what's the size? This is a 20-inch wheel, 255 on the width, 60 series sidewall, and we have those Goodyear Wrangler all-terrain adventure tires. This thing is all about going on an adventure, and those tires are gonna take you there. We have adaptive dampers, all four corners. Just a little bit of flat black is, I think, perfect, especially the way you have that hard body line for that flared fender action. Speaking of the fenders, as we go, I love the way we have some nice creases. You have a little bit of a gloss black side vent here, but the great news is, what's the name? Yes, it starts with an F, functionality. On the side, just like up front, the two-tone style with the blacked out A-pillar and everything blacked out on the mirrors looks great. Nice flat roof with the white, and we have the Safari windows. That was such an iconic design element in this vehicle. 
the flat black along the bottom, and then like I said, two door action on this Defender 90 really gives it a unique proportion setup. And I think people are just gonna like, their eyes are gonna pop out of their head as it's going down the road or off road. As we come towards the rear, you can see on the 90 how massive that rear glass window is. I love the way they have the nice lines and that flared fender look even for the back. There's your safari windows with the roof rails. And then as we come around out back, just like we started up front, they do some really interesting, unique design. The way they do the LED taillights in that square formation, something different, something fresh. You got the gloss black for that two-tone, the white. Of course, you're gonna have that digital rear view mirror camera that's in that shark fin antenna. We got our spare mounted to the back. And just like before, you're gonna have your handle and right underneath that is the Defender Badge First Edition. And I love how the doors open on these. They have a nice swing action, which we'll show you when we get to the tail in the business. But as we drop down, full toe capability. And just, I love the way everything is tucked up nice and tidy to keep everything out of the way as you're going off-road. One exhaust tip on each side and massive control arms. Massive beefy control arms to take that beating. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering our Defender first edition. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have hydraulic hood struts. Underneath the hood, not a sexy engine cover. The good news is it doesn't look like a trash can limb, but it's just, it could have had something a little bit more. But you'll notice the bracing up top that goes from one shock top mount to the other, and you have that adaptive suspension. So what are we looking at underneath that plastic cover? That's a three liter inline six electric supercharge and turbocharge, produces 395 horsepower, 406 pound-feet of torque, zero to 60 in this thing. Yes, it is quicker than the 110. Zero to 60, 5.7 seconds. Of course, you have that ZF eight-speed automatic transmission. The vehicle weighs 4,750 pounds, can tow over 8,000 pounds. MPGs, 17 in the city, 22 on the highway. And like I said, it's sitting on that D7X aluminum chassis, just like the Defender 110. But it's one of those things that when we're looking underneath the hood, it's nice to see the inner bits, but it's one thing to get ready to drive this vehicle. But before we do, let's get to the interior and see what the Defender 90 brings to the table. All right, guys, we're inside this 2021 Defender 90. I don't know, there's just something unique about a Land Rover product, especially this Defender, and especially with it being a two-door version. And I know you're probably saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been waiting for this 90. I've been sick of hearing and seeing 110s. How much is this first edition? Well, the way that this one is optioned, you're looking right at $66,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. I do like that neoprene material up top. It's soft to the touch, easy to clean, and I love the way the exterior color, color has been brought to the interior. Same thing on the armrest, more of that almost wetsuit material. You have the Meridian sound system, and guess what? You have a door pocket down there that you could easily put seven British scones ready for your off-road journey with extra butter and some milk to wash it down. Now, when you get to the dash, more creativity that's just unique. A nice oak crap panel for your passenger, the Defender badge, you have a nice super-sized Twinkie tray here. Let's say maybe you go and you get some Cheerios from Costco. You can take your Cheerios and lay them down. We do have USB, which is great, and it goes all the way behind the infotainment system. So if you have those extra long Cheerios that they make special for you at Costco, just for you, you can lay them right in this nice area. AC vents, interesting the location, but you know what? They look like they don't work well, but they actually feel pretty good. And then as you come down, you're gonna have your 10 inch infotainment system, navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Is it a touch screen? Of course it's a touch screen. You touch it and then it goes and it does its thing. So there's your map set up, easy to figure out, very intuitive. Work your way down. This is gonna control that eight speed automatic. Remember, we could raise and lower our Defender over 11 inches of ground clearance. And this thing, I'm telling you, when it comes to steep angles, you're gonna be able to leave the 110s behind. You have your AC controls. Everything is all involved in the knobs themselves. You can adjust the blower fan switch, very simple. Volume control knob, your start stop button, and then look what we got, USB-C, USB, and a 12 volt. 
I like the way that it's all non-carpeted. Except for the floor mats, everything else is non-carpeted, so you can clean it up very easily. Headroom. I got plenty of headroom being six feet tall. Here is your key fob, your Land Rover key fob, that British green. And then there's the buttons on the back. Looking good. And then ours, I've never even seen this in person, has that folding center seat, gives you the two cup holders, soft material, and a nice little grippy area. And for your passengers, you're going to have another 12 volt, two USB C's, and another 12 volt. So two 12 volts and two uh, USB C's. And then the seats, nice cloth with that leather style material, feeling good, all perforated, full electric assist for the passenger and the driver. And they're super comfy. And then another option besides the center jump seat is the cloth retractable top. Look at this. So smooth. You can stop it wherever you want, slide it all the way back. This is my first Defender period ever seeing a cloth retractable top. Really, really nice touch. Super smooth. Locks on in. There you go. Come on over though to the business end. I want to show you behind the wheel of this Defender 90. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. You do have three memory seat settings. And look at that beautiful first edition plaque that welcomes you each and every time that you come into your Defender 90. There's all those seat controls, easy to get to. The lower lumbar is nice. Overall, I feel great. Like I said, I'm six feet tall, plenty of headroom. You got your oh crap handle for yourself. Your passenger has theirs up top as well. Steering wheel, love the thickness, the nice leather. And then the Defender name right on that horn button. Just I, the color combination, the way they designed the wheel is super clean. You got a thumb wheel, thumb select switches. And then behind the wheel, you do have your uh, nice silver tipped stalks for your turn signals and your windshield wipers. And you have a caramel apple holder here or candy apple, whatever you prefer. You can just drop it right in there for your off-road fun. And then speaking of fun, you're gonna have a 12 inch digital display there. Nice clear graphics, nice clear font. Really just kind of brings that 21st century feel to the whole cabin. And of course you have a electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel, but I know you want me to do it. I'm gonna suck it up. We're gonna get into the back seat of this Defender 90. All right guys, back seat time in the Defender. And you know what, once you get back here, there's actually a really good amount of space. I'm six feet tall, and like I said, up front I had plenty of headroom, back here I had plenty of headroom. Now, what's great is, is you're gonna have your USBs back here, which is important, and you're also gonna have more that are located on that center console like I showed you earlier, the two 12 volts, the two USB-Cs. I have rear AC, which is nice, and then the cup holders, they actually mount them down, down below here on the corner. You got your cup holder and a Skittles tray, and then you have that same neoprene material on the armrest and those wonderful safari windows. Really, really cool, different kind of look back here. I thought it was gonna be more crapped, cramped, no, crapped and cramped, to be honest with you, but it actually feels pretty good. But while we get to the cargo area, see how much crap we could put back there in this Defender 90. Right, guys, just like I showed you earlier, you open up right here, very unique. My only zonk for this is that if you're parallel parking this vehicle, the vehicle behind you, if it's too close, you're not gonna be able to open up the door. But what you do have is on the back side, you got the Defender name, just to remind you that you did it right and you could put your Safari Twinkies, easily put about seven to 10 of those. Now on the Defender 90, you are gonna have less room with the seats up. I mean, that's just kinda common sense because we have a shorter vehicle, but you're looking at 15.6 cubic feet of space. You fold those seats down, it goes up to 51.7 cubic feet of space. I wanna show you that at the tail end of the business, you can adjust the height of the vehicle all by pressing a button. And to get the seats down, it's actually fairly simple. You got little handles up there. You're gonna flip it down. I'll swing it around and showcase how the passenger side is gonna go down. And then what's kind of cool is, is that you have the ability, boom, you got your little storage underneath. You also have a place for a 12 volt back here. Everything nice, and there's those wonderful safari windows, and we have that cloth retractable top. Very interesting touches on this particular one, but if you're ready, I've been waiting for this one. I'm definitely ready. Let's take this Defender 90 for a little spin. All right, guys, we're leaving Land Rover, Tampa, all new store location in this Defender 90. Really makes it the perfect 
combination since this is all new being the 90 and not the 110. Right away, I just love the proportions of this vehicle. The way that the seats support you and they're comfy really just makes sense and feels really, really good. And of course, you're gonna get this crazy amount of awesome visibility out the front. I love the flat neoprene finishes in here because it, there's no glare, which is awesome. And that's gonna allow your off-roading to be that much more enjoyable. We got the digital rear view mirror, gives you a clean look right off the top of the roof. And the square mirrors help with that classic retro design. But right away, just going over the expansion joints on the highway here, super smooth, very, very comfortable. The gauge, the gauge cluster is easy to read. Infotainment is well within reach. And you're just driving around in an icon. That's what it is. I mean, this Defender 90 is just really, really awesome to have it back and have all the technology that you want and the amazing style. And of course, that off-road capability. I mean, this thing can go through about three feet of water and those steep angles that are gonna leave all the other pretenders of an off-road SUV behind. Plus you have some nice luxury features and touches in here as well. Driving this Defender is so easy and having that electric supercharger negates any turbo lag whatsoever. It's a great setup, that straight six with the electric supercharger and the turbocharger. This thing has plenty of power and having a 0-60 time under six seconds really showcases that even at the weight and like I said, the off-road capability of this vehicle. I like having the flexibility of that center jump seat. Very, very rare to have that. Also that cloth retractable option, I think is another one I would add in because it just makes it such a unique driving experience. I love being up this high because even in traffic situations like right now, the visibility just gives you a nice bird's eye view and it's just super smooth. Let me do a little bit of on throttle here. On throttle, here we go. Eight speed drops down and we are off and running. I'm telling you, it's got plenty of pep for the type of vehicle that it is. Brakes feel good, steering is nice. It's not a bunch of driving modes and all that hokey pokey kind of stuff. It's like you just get in, you fire it up and you get going. You could raise the suspension, you could lower the vehicle, whatever you want you have that flexibility there. And the eight speed shifts, very, very nice, very smooth. It would be nice maybe to have paddles on the back of the wheel uh, for those who utilize that type of stuff, but you can manually shift with the actual shifter itself. But I'm telling you right now, this thing, especially when you roll on throttle, there's it's nice linear torque delivery from that supercharger turbocharger setup. And I'm liking the feedback that I'm getting in the steering wheel. And overall, it feels really comfortable and smooth in here. All right, guys, let's see how this Defender 90 handles. On throttle, here we go. Eight speed drops down, we're off. Nice and smooth. Really nice, look at this. It's a fun vehicle to drive, especially with that shorter wheelbase. Wow, it's a lot of fun, it really is. But obviously this is not what this vehicle is made for. It's made for that off-roading, but you can really do anything that you want with it. And that's what makes it extra special. And you have that cool retro look. All right, guys, one more time. Here we go. On throttle, drops down, we're off. A lot of fun. Really just puts a smile on your face. You're driving a legend. That's awesome. And it handles well, even with those off-road uh, you know, spec tires. I mean, yeah, you're not gonna carve corners like a, uh, you know, an RSQ8 or something, but still it gives you great feedback, great driving experience, and really just puts a smile on your face. But we need to get back to Land Rover Tampa and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been another great day here at Land Rover Tampa, all new store location really special, one of two in the whole country that just sells Land Rover, not Jaguar and Land Rover. But I definitely wanna thank Jennifer and the rest of the team here for getting us their very first 
Defender 90 to bring to you. It really showcases that, you know what? Land Rover has some really unique touches and they're not afraid to be different and do things differently. And this Defender 90 really brings a lot of that old classic magic in a new 21st century spin. But if you wanna keep seeing luxury off-road SUVs here on Ready's Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Ready's Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you and the channel, click the link in the description, get yourself some Ready's Rise merch, click the second link, become a Ready's Rise Patreon member. Gotta give it up, queen of the camera. She's loving this Defender 90. Show Lori some love in the comment section because she's doing one hell of a job. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.